well I think I'm gonna test my luck with this it's a whole kit and oh I forgot it's touch screen oh well there you go it is a kit and it's fake I don't know if it's gonna sound good or not but um I'm gonna test it out and try it I like the sound of HKS the best and I don't want to spend 300 bucks on it because I want to keep this a cheap turbo build and 4790 for a whole kit with everything that's the only one that I see coming like this so free shipping it's the 21st and they're saying they can get it this week so or the end of next week so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with it for just that cheap so let's hope this baby sounds good and I just got this glow shift one of my friends has this he, he has it hooked up because he's about to supercharge his Mustang but he um he hasn't gotten around to it but he has this already hooked up so he doesn't get any boost it's just in the under whatever but it, I like how it lights up and it's pretty cheap so I just went ahead and bought that too so I can be more rice but I'll, I want to have a boost gauge so I know how much I'm pushing mine's only gonna be like right there though right before the tin so nothing special I'm supposed to get it really soon also so that's what I'm happy about so it comes with the mounting brackets and the T's and everything already so I like the kids they make it real nice well guys I am finally starting my exhaust just a little bit I don't want to do the full thing because it's gonna take a long time and I don't want to do it I was barely motivated to even start this but I'm starting it I took this is the exhaust off the parts car that's been on my car because my other exhaust is all fucked up and as I was taking it off that was hanging down so I rallied too hard and made it fall off and then I had to weld it together right there because it came apart and it was making my check engine light go off because um, I really need to pass my inspection because it's June and that's February so I've been driving whatever and now that I got this new engine in it has no codes except for the P0420 code which is the catalytic converter code and it's been going off because there's a there's a big gap right there in the uh, catalytic converter flange or whatever so it was like all escaping it was all black and stuff so I cleaned it up but now what I'm doing is I'm starting the up pipe these are the this is the exhaust headers off my old uh, exhaust that was all messed up so what I'm doing now is I have a grinder, see, and I'm grinding all the edges so it'll weld nicely. I haven't started yet, but I'm going to. And um, so that way it, it'll all weld nicely. This is my exhaust, and that's going to be my flex pipe. So I got everything ground down, and um, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to mount my up pipe because I'm going to go ahead and start that, whatever, finally. And I zip-tied all these cables together because they were hanging down in the way. So I got them out of the way. And then I don't know if you remember, right here, there was something kind of important, and it was this. This is where my cruise control went. I don't know if you guys are going to want to do this or not, but um, my, old, my old EJ22, the one sitting right there all blown up, that one had cruise control, but whenever I swapped this motor into it, my cruise control never worked. It's like I tried it multiple times, and it just would never not work at all. So um, I just went ahead and took the cable out, routed it all the way over here. It never worked, so it's not like I'm going to miss it. I, I, I wish it had it, but mine doesn't have it, so I'm going to take it off and see if it causes any problems at all. This is a pretty big unit, and it was taking up a lot of space for my up and down pipe in that corner because it was like it was right here, directly in the middle, and so I had that much room to like work with. So now that it's open, I got a lot more room to work with. I have a nice open area for a up and down pipe. So um, I don't know how th how to do it without taking that out either because it was so big and like I don't know how I'd fit the pipes so that's that and now I got to figure out how I want to do this uh, so I've been um, looking at where to place the turbo 
so I could have like the ideal location and somewhere here is perfect because there's enough room for the downpipe. I might have to bend this AC line a little bit because I did that with this AC line right there. I moved it out of the way um, and then I moved the power steering line back a little bit. I bent to the hard line and then you can see the up pipe. There's room for the up pipe to get up. Uh, the coolant lines right there. I might have to get like a U or something. And this is still low enough. I might have to raise the turbo, have the turbo up a little higher so I can get the down line. But uh, somewhere around this area, that way my hood can still close and the intercooler will still fit. As you can see, it's not going to fit like that obviously, but that's just mocking it up. It's going to be kind of sketchy because I don't have a lot of, I have a lot of space right here, but I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it because I got to make everything work with the hood still being able to close because I don't want to drill into my hood like some people have done. But this is kind of complicated, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do now. Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. And today we'll be working on the exhaust for my car. Anyway, so what I'm doing is, um, this is the, like, I, I don't know if you'd call that a Y pipe or not, but it's this pipe right here. Um, I have this from my old exhaust, like my old, old one. And so I cut it to where I can have just like that piece because, um, let me show you under the car. I'm mocking it up right now. And whatever. Oh, I'm leaking something. Uh, but. I'm gonna have that pipe like that, and then this will be on the end of it. And so it's pretty much gonna sit like right here. It's dark, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the pipe, I'm gonna extend the pipe out there and extend the pipe from there to there. And then it's gonna be sticking out like that. And then I'll get a 90 degree, or just figure out how to make that go straight up. And then whenever it comes straight up, it'll come out and around the CV axle and up towards the turbo that way I have room for the down pipe to go down so all I'm gonna do now is grind the edges and weld that together and my welds are trash I don't talk trash in the comments yes I finally put shoes on and a shirt and some glasses so whatever but I'm gonna try to record some of that so y'all can see me working because as other than just me talking and explaining what I'm doing I'm gonna try to get some content so let's do that Well, um, I got the welds to work, kind of. So if you see right there, in order to get it to work, I had to glob it up. And there's still some holes I got to fill in. Yeah, there's my mask. But uh, 
it would not go at all so I literally had to glob it up constantly so um, I'll give you guys some time right now to go roast me in the comments for it uh, the more y'all comment the more money I make so uh, go ahead and roast me wrote as, write as many comments as you can so I can get as much money for you guys roasting me I get a couple cents per comment or something like that but that's that so roast me it's gonna work the welds are holding, it just looks like shit. I'll grind the top of it, it's gonna be underneath my car. Oh, and by the way, all my welds, you are not gonna be able to see. If you see in, oh, there's a bug. If you see right in here, I have some fiberglass exhaust wrap. So, you guys will not even be able to see how bad these welds are once I put this wrap on, because it'll be wrapped up in fiberglass wrap that I bought. So, that is not a problem for me. I ain't trying to make this look pretty whatsoever. If you see my bash bar, I got some ugly ass welds right here, but this is thicker metal, so it actually welded. Uh, unlike this, that kept melting away. But so far, it's good. I'll check how if it's watertight or not, but it's working for now, and that's all I care about. So I got my welder hooked up underneath my car, and I used a jack stand to hold everything up, and here's the pipes. Here's my up pipe. See, I, I, I pointed it up so it kind of stays up off the... Because uh, whenever I made my straight pipe last time, that was completely trash. I welded it too far down, so my exhaust stuck too far down. But as you can see, there is a, my, those are just my tack welds. That one's really bad. But I got everything tacked in place. See, my welds aren't that bad, but they're still pretty trash. But um, I got everything together. Now I can unbolt this and refinish tacking it and get all the welds looking nice I might do that a little bit more to hold it in place but uh, one thing I want to do is I might put a bar that goes from here across so uh, holds the headers still that's what some headers do like the EJ25's they're dual part headers I don't know if I even call these headers but um, the exhaust manifold or whatever but uh, I'll put a bar there to hold it steady and then let's see if you can see it sticking out of the bottom. Yeah, you see right there? The exhaust is going to come straight up and out, and it's, it's going to miss the CV axle just enough to where it's not going to get in the way of it. And if it rubs on it a little bit, it's not going to be that bad because it's going to be covered in fiberglass wrap, and yada yada, that'll make it stronger too, so that's that. Now all i got to do is uh, take the upright off and finish welding around. And I can get it done. So let's take everything off and let's see how good this is. Ram reppin', I say reppin', I slam reppin', I grave reppin'. They know rappers, may choke rappers, they froze rappers, they cold rappers. Old rappers don't cold rappers, well spoke rappers don't boast rappers. I ended up a real cold rapper, I know that I can flex on rappers. Oh, them, I don't got the You don't know what I done got the Running things, no, got the way. Automatic, I do not withhold Spreading greatness when I talk, though okay. You say majesty when we talk, though So I guess I'm royalty on talk shows So I guess I'm Jamaican at heart, though As you can see, the exhaust broke So, um, the two points that held on still I'm still, I'm gonna weld it That way it'll still plug up easy And I don't have to worry about these breaking You see there's a pretty, ow, that's hot uh, There's still a pretty big gap in between them So I gotta fill that in and everything But once I hook it back together I'll just re-tack it better. I thought that one was held on pretty good, but I couldn't really see that far back. And I didn't I didn't uh, grind that down, so it was kind of dirty. So I'm just going to weld this now. Well, what I'm doing right now is, um, like I said earlier, the uh, some exhaust, the fancy ones have like a bar that goes across to keep these in place. And I can't find any rebar or any flat stock or anything. So what I have is a old golf club. And I don't know if this is going to work at all, but I thought I'd record it just in case. And if it doesn't work, then you'll never see the scene. But if it does work, then this will be pretty badass. So my dad's a pro golfer, kind of, or used to be. And uh, so he has a lot of old golf clubs and golf club equipment. So I'm just going to try to break this. Oh, there we go. So here's the piece. I'm going to try to just weld this. It's not strong. Whatsoever, but I mean it was used on a it was like a three iron is what it was used on so I don't think that matters at all but I'm gonna try to weld that across so I can have um a support and then I'll just wrap not around this but like around it when when I have the fiber 
glass when I wrap the fiberglass around it, and that'll make it look nice. So, there we go. Well, here you go, guys. Here it is. Uh, like, I, this piece and this piece were off the old exhaust, and so I added this on and that on to that. And now, if you see, it's my up pipe, and now I'm going to try to weld that golf shaft in, if that works. Um, I don't know. But, um, that's that, and so now that just needs to go straight up the other way, well, straight down, looking at it like, no, yeah, straight up from here. And, um, I'm, I don't know if I want to do that right now, because it's kind of late, and I'm tired of doing this. So, I'm going to try to weld that piece on so I can add more support. That way, the, it's not as hard on the welds, and let's do that. Well, here's what I was talking about. You can see I just welded it really easily, and now... Oop, popping, but it's on. This will help it when it torques, kind of, I don't know. Give it some support, and so I can carry it easier without putting as much, I don't want to put any stress on those welds. So I can put stress on these welds, and I'm shaking it, and it's fine, but. So it's later in the day, Marcus came over, and um, I went to O'Reilly's and got this uh, 90 degree angle, so I can uh, shove it in here. It actually fits. And then um, it'll be going straight up out over there. And in order to do that, I don't, I obviously don't have this much clearance. So I'm going to, first of all, I'll turn it this way and I'm going to cut this much off. That way it'll be like that up so I can have more clearance because I'm pretty sure I'd be shooting into the frame. See the frames right there and it sticks out right there. So I'd be shooting into the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And then the reason I'm cutting this end off and not that end, so that way I, I'd still be able to plug, I can still plug it in from here once I take that off, is because I'm using the flex pipe right here to shove that in and make, make it easier to take my turbo on and off, so that way I don't have to disconnect everything, I can disconnect the flex pipe, because I'm going to be using that to hold the flex pipe on. I'm going to put it like that far, I have the exhaust stick like that far in so it's not going to be like janked on or whatever, but that's that. And I drove my car without the cruise control thing and no lights came on or anything, so if you have a car like mine and you want to uh, get rid of that, you can do it like me. I don't know how else to do it because it frees up a lot of room, but I'm talking a lot right now, but I'm going to cut this right here and shove it in. So as you can see now, I cut the edge off, I don't know where it went, but um, now this fits, uh, it's really loosely, but it still fits in here, and it, honestly this doesn't have to be straight up, because I'm still putting the flex pipe, so I could do it like that if I wanted to, and just have the flex pipe bent, but I'm not, I'm going to do it like that, and then just tack it in place, and then I can just weld around it, but that's how it's going to look for now. So this is how my up pipe's going to look with the um, flex pipe. <laughs> With the flex pipe in here, <laughs> uh, it's going to be welded on, and then I'll have the flex pipe which can uh, move in any direction I want it to, and then I'll be able to disconnect this. My turbo, uh, I'm probably going to cut it like that short, and then put another piece of pipe, and then weld the flex pipe to the actual <laughs> pipe, and, um, <laughs> and then I, I can just disconnect this and pull the turbo off. <laughs> and you're rubbing that on you? What the <laughs> fuck is your problem? But uh, then the turbo will be like attached right here from the flange. And so I can just undo that and lift my turbo off. But then I'm going to weld that together. I'm going to wrap all this in um, that exhaust wrap. And then I'm going to wrap from up. That way this one little piece will not have uh, exhaust wrap on it. But that's pretty much what it's going to look like now. Well, there are the welds. They actually came out better than any of the other ones. Uh, don't look at that part though, and don't look at that part. Uh, just look at, ow, okay, just look at that right there. That's the only good part. Ooh, I think I just clogged the camera up. But now, uh, I didn't even test fit this whatsoever, so, but I'm not that worried because I still have the flex pipe, which will bend in place if it does not work. But uh, I'm probably going to wrap this in my exhaust wrap now. I got this exhaust strap for oh, $11.36 or some weird price, 
but uh, this is a legit like exhaust strap. See it right here, it's black, and then it comes with the really crappy metal zip ties, but now all I gotta do is just like soak that in water and wrap it around nice and tightly around here and make it look nice. And then I also have a cool spray paint pattern that I'm gonna spray paint that. I'm gonna leave it black, but I'm gonna do something else. Make it look cool as an up pipe, and so you guys are gonna like that probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna add this in really fast. This is some bonus footage. Um, my car was low on coolant, so I'm just refilling it. One thing I always like to do is I cut a big hole in the bottom for the stuff to flow out and then a little hole in the top so it breathes better. And then I do it sideways so it pours out nice and clean. I do this with my oil, my coolant, any liquid that I have to pour anytime, like even if it's like creamer. I don't drink coffee. I don't know why I said that, but um, that's what I use all the time. So I thought I'd add that in just for a little tip for you guys if you're trying to pour any liquid, just hold it nice and steady so it doesn't glug, 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 and yada, 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 so there you go, there's a bonus tip for me. So, um, I'm about to put the exhaust wrap on, and one important thing is some gloves, I have these gloves that I got from Harbor Freight, of course, everything I get from Harbor Freight, and uh, this is fiberglass, and so I don't know if you've ever gotten fiberglass in you, well I have when I blew out my clutch. And I'm sitting there laying under my car, replacing my clutch with no shirt on because I don't like to, I don't know why. But uh, So here I am rolling around sweaty, getting all this fiberglass in my back and trying to go to bed that night was horrible. So um, take it from me that you do not want to get fiberglass in your skin whatsoever. So I highly suggest you wear gloves. I should have pants on too, but um, oh well, I'm a man this out. And this is going to be like a time lapse of me just rolling out the... Um, exhaust wrap and that uh, you probably can't there you go the exhaust wraps in there and like the water turned from clear to black because the dye is coming off because it was cheap i guess but i don't really care i just want the wrap to keep it cool and make it look kind of cool but other than that i've never done this before and this is a big roll so i don't know if i'm able to get under it completely but uh i am still going to try to do that and make this look nice so I can cover up my horrible welds that you guys are going to be roasting me for. And I already have some of my friends roasting me for it, but oh well, I, I have no welding experience. I haven't been taught by anyone how to weld before. I do pretty much everything self-taught by myself. But uh, my stuff works, my welds are all holding. I checked them in water, and none of them were leaking. And if they were leaking, I fixed it, but they're not leaking anymore. So. Let's get to it. Hopefully you can hear me well enough. I'm kind of yelling, but uh, other than that, I'm Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light, shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Walk through the city of angels, I can't mess with you as you miss say your halo. You saying that you my friend, but you never ask me how my day go. You gon' be real, real mad when you see my diamonds on big low. I had to rip the phone just to put damn, I do whatever I say so. Yeah, whatever I say so. Damn, whatever I say go. No, I don't get distracted. I step back and count on my pesos. I got the word on my hand. I play with it like it is Play-Doh. You see guys at war. Bitch, I feel like I'm Kratos. Damn, whoa, yeah. man, this shit is too easy. Oh I just cut the little Jesus. Got me feeling like Jesus. Yeah. Damn, whoa, keep the angels around me. Trying to fight us these demons. Try, trying to fight us these demons. Move on the lane, hey, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. Move on the lane, never stop at a red light. Shine real bright like a headlight, yeah. screw to hold it in place because I have no idea where that nail went but other than that I think it looks pretty sick
what do you guys think? I messed up right there a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So it is the next day after I made my up pipe, and uh, see, as you can see, I taped it off. It's still kind of wet. I don't know when it, how it dries or whatever, but it's like on there, and I'm scared to take the, zip, the metal zip ties off. But I just went over them, and now I'm going to spray paint this a certain color, and hopefully it'll turn out good. It'll look nice and cool. This dye keeps coming off on my hands, too. I don't know if it's just because it's cheap or what, but I'm going to spray paint that now and probably the rest. It's not high heat paint, but it'll look cool, I hope. So let's do that. Well, now I know why I have so much of this left over. Uh, I used this, like, a long, long time ago. Like, probably, like, almost a year ago, I bought this paint to use it on some hubcaps because I thought it would be like a ricer with that but it it sprayed really bad and as you can tell it's like a whole can that I sprayed onto it and you can't even tell it's really purple so um, the coverage is horrible and it's not thick at all and it looks bad so here's what it looks like after I took the masking tape off it came out kind of good but it's not as like purple as I wanted it to but it still looks pretty badass so too bad it's like the up pipe so you won't really see this part, only I'll really see it, but um, I'll do some more on the pipe that comes up and on the top of the down pipe. But she looks pretty cool. Well I got kind of ahead of myself, I got excited, my new boost gauge came in, it's a glow shift whatever, and um, I already, I was looking at the car for a little bit and I already found a uh, vacuum line, don't worry about the smoke, I was messing around, but uh, there's a vacuum line right here on the very tip top front of the cylinder. The kit comes with everything. I use that line. It goes right above the pedal. And then I have it routed under. I'm going to try to put it like right up here. And I'm going to pinch it in between the uh, oh, glove box or whatever. And um, not glove box, but the panel. And I got to wire it together. Uh, I think I have to cut. I put this on here because they're all the same. But I think I got to cut the orange wire. Because the red's power wire, the yellow's like the uh, color wire, and the orange is the dimmer wire. So if I have it connected, they said it's going to flash or something. But I, I just tested on the battery real fast to make sure it worked and it all did. But um, I'm going to connect my boost gauge now and I'm going to have some negative boost. Because I don't have the turbo on yet, obviously. Focus. Okay. 